hi guys welcome back to the channel honey y'all see what time it is y'all see the title yes it is time for my august palette playlist i have been so ready for this playlist because it's time to switch some things up first of all i'm gonna give myself a pat on the back okay round of applause because i did really good for july but i still didn't give it my best but i did good on playing with variety of my palettes so let me introduce myself for those who don't know hi i'm nisha for those who are new um i have a little bit of a palette quarter collection and i do meet it's a collection i have over i think 300 some palettes but who's counting are you counting i'm not counting let's not count okay but this is just a way of me taking out palettes that's in my collection that i might have forgotten about didn't get a chance to play with or it's brand new and this is just going to help me be a little bit more organized on using the uses of my actual palettes like i want to see some pants some little scuff marks some actual brushes being put into these palettes instead of me just using that palette for one time and then never using her again like are we doing that what's it <laughs> so this is just a way of me to play in my palette so it's like a little playlist like you know how you got your little music playlist this is my playlist for august it's like what are you going to play with for this month so i am excited i'm going to give you guys an update from july's playlist what's staying, what's going away, and what we put on the playlist as for new palettes for this month. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and get started, boo. Honestly, I love the palettes that I picked out for July. So there's not gonna be a lot of palettes that I'm gonna take away. There might be more add, and of course, I know I'm not gonna play with all of these palettes for this month, but like I said, it's just a playlist just to give me a little idea of what palettes I need to use, take advantage of, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and start off with what I'm going to be removing from the playlist from July. All right, so here is the amount of palettes that I will be taking off. I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I count? Seven, I think. <laughs> Seven palettes that I will be taking off for the rotation for August. And I will explain why as I go through each palette. The first one is going to be the Ann Nuke Ink Sigma palette. I've done two looks. I, my mind is saying three, but I think I've only done two looks using this palette. And the reason why I want to take her off for this month is because this is August. Like, this is like the summer time. Like, it's like the ending a summer month you know so i want to do a lot of colorful looks as you guys can see it's a soft colorful look but you get what i'm saying so i'm gonna take away it's kind of like my fall related my salad palette so yeah that's just the reason why i'm taking it off she's a really beautiful palette i definitely want to do more looks using her but we're just going to take her off for this month she might come back in rotation for the next one but as for now we're taking off for the sake of it's august let's get colorful all right this has been on my playlist i don't know how many months and i have yet to use her so we're just gonna take her off because i feel like <laughs> she's not inspiring me right now and like i said it's summertime so i don't want to use these colors these are more like fall related winter shades so we will see this palette hopefully then and hopefully i will eventually try it because i have yet to try it all right this is the new palette from hank and henry this is the carla palette i am taking her off for the sake of the color story uh, she's not for the season right now. She's got a little bit of color splash in here, but I still get fall vibes. So we're going to save her for another month. By the way, I think I did only one look using this palette. All right, so this is Clarita Cosmetic. This is Eva Mermaid. I fell in love with this palette. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Do I want to keep her? Hold on. Now that I'm looking at her, I'm like, girl, she's like a seasonal palette. She could be you use whatever ah, you know what i'm gonna say no so i'm gonna take her off because i have another palette from this brand actually two of them that i want to use from this brand so yeah that's the reason why i was taking this off i'm like Wait, why am i taking this off because i have too many palettes of this brand that's on my playlist so we had to be nice and share with the other brands out there you know so taking this palette off because i've just been using her she's been on the playlist for the past like two three months now I've done, I want to say, three looks, two looks, two to three looks using this palette. Um, she's definitely summer vibes, but I feel like with the season of this month, with the birthstones and 
I think that was just mainly the reason, the birthstone. Yeah, a lot of my birthstone palettes, especially for Leo season, they have a lot of the same color story, the orange and the red. So I felt like it was kind of pointless to have this one along against the other ones. Like it didn't make sense. So yeah, she is beautiful. Yeah, she's summer vibes, but she's gonna crash with my other orange related palettes that I have on the playlist for this one. So we're gonna take her off for the time being. Um, I don't know when she'll come back, but like I said, I've done a couple of beautiful looks using this palette. So if you guys wanna check them out, everything that I mentioned, I will make sure I try to link them down at the bottom. <laughs> don't quote me, I might forget, but I'll do my best, okay? And then this one is the ColourPop Super Bloom palette. I am taking her off because um, when I first used her, she gave me my look, okay? She gave me my look, but after I did it, I was like, hmm, I'm not really feeling so inspired against the other palettes that I have in my collection. So I think I'm going to just save her for another time, being that it is a green one. I can use this whenever, but it just, I don't know, I just felt like it wasn't screaming summertime, so I just want to take her off the playlist for the sake of that, but I did do one look using this palette. <sighs> This one was kind of tough. This is my Perception palette by ColourPop. We are taking her off for the sake of the color story. She just, she gives me more fall vibes, but I definitely got some beautiful looks out of this palette for the past couple of months. I think I did two, I want to say three. Or I'm going to say two, two. No, I did two looks. Yes, two looks. I definitely think I'm going to bring her back for fall season because I want to play in these blues, honey. Play in the blues. And it's like this little duo, it's not a duo chrome, but it's like a, it remind me of that MAC eyeshadow like that was very popular, it's like a blue brown. Yeah, they got one in here, so I definitely wanna play with her. So she will be back for the fall season. And I also decided, cause I'm about to grab my next palette stash, I think I'm gonna take her off as well. I've done three looks using her so far for this year. I know one look in particular that I've done, you guys have yet to see her cause I haven't uploaded, but it will definitely be up sometime this month, but I'm gonna take her off because <sighs> Juvia got some more colorful palettes that I want to use that will go perfect for her, the season that I'm trying to aim for for my look. So we're gonna just take her off for the sake of that. I will come back probably, she will come back probably next month, fall, I don't know. Fall season, you know, it's what, till September all the way until January in a sense, like the fall, winter is kind of like the same. To me, I think it's only two seasons, summer, fall. Who's winter? Who's spring? Like, what is that? <laughs> it's only two season in my mind, especially out here. So yeah, um, we're gonna take her off as well. So she was a really good one too, though. Definitely has some good looks, but okay. Let's get into the palettes that are staying now. All right, now for the palettes that are staying for the season. I might change my mind as I go through the palettes, but it's too much to where I can't even lift her up. And I got the nerves to add to this, but anywho, who's Who's checking, okay? <laughs> Who's checking for me? Not you, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, what's staying? We got the Ace palette. She's staying for the sake of, I just wanna play with her. Like, there's no reason. Like, I know she kinda gives off fall vibes, but I wanna play in these purples. I told myself I was going to, and I think I'm definitely gonna do it for sure this month. So, although she gives off fall vibes, uh, you know what? I'm gonna take her off because there's other ace palettes that are colorful. I'll bring her back for sure next month, but ah, uh, do I? I'm gonna take her off. I'm gonna take her off. I'm gonna take her off. Okay. <laughs> I wanna take her off. I told you I might change my mind as I go through the palettes. Okay, she's staying. She's definitely staying. This is the Novena Volume One. I used her for the first time for last month, and she's beautiful. The color look that I came out with, that purple smoky eye. Y'all got so many compliments with that makeup look in person to the video. So yeah, we're using her again. She can definitely give off a little bit of fall vibes, but I don't know. I'm just not, I feel like the moment I open a palette, I'm like, well, is it girl? Is it the season you're trying to go for? I'm going to keep her because I don't want all of my looks to be super bright, bright, bright. So I do want to have a balance because I know there's some people who don't like bright colorful looks like this and they like the darker, you know, color look. So I'm gonna keep her anyway, so yes, she's gonna stay in the rotation. Hopefully I can squeeze in another 
buy more of this Kisses palette before I put it back on the shelf. I don't know. I want to keep her because it's my favorite color and I don't feel like I have a pink palette in my playlist right now. Do I want to keep her? I want to keep her. I'm just going to say yes because if I keep deciding going back and forth, this video will be so freaking long. So I'm going to keep her. Who are we keeping? We're keeping the Culture palette. It's the original one, the first one. We're keeping her because I'm going to get those summer vibes using this palette so yes we're keeping her definitely keeping royal rose by cosmic she's definitely giving those summer vibes so i would definitely be keeping her as well ah okay i think i'm gonna have to swap we're gonna swap this out yes because i got too many of these brands palettes in my collection right now but ah, okay yes i want to take this one off as well this is the serenity palette this is from cosmic as well I was gonna keep her, but I think I have like three palettes in general from this brand that I wanna play with for this month, and it just, that's just too many. So I'm gonna take her off. She is giving a little bit of summer, fall, and everything in between vibes. So we can bring her back next month, but I'm gonna take her off as well. We're keeping Retro Love, just because I like Beauty Bane. We're keeping her. I didn't do the mini looks I wanted to do with her, and she can give off any season vibe. So we're gonna keep her. She's gonna stay on the playlist. Plus, I think I said I want to do like four looks in general using that. So, and like I said, I need to have a neutral look for my neutral girl. So we're keeping Sugar Cone because this is like one of my favorite neutral palettes that I have in my collection. It's so simple and it has like the least amount of eyeshadows compared to my other neutral palette. But it's something about this palette. The shade range is in here. The, the size is like, I don't know. It's just I keep gravitating towards this more since I've been having it in my playlist, so I just wanna keep her. I'm gonna keep her for my simple days when I don't feel like doing color. This is the Sesame Street Wet n Wild palette. She can give off summer vibes. I just need to use her, cause otherwise, if I don't use her by this month, then she needs to go back. It's like, let's just hope that I can do something with that palette. Yes, we're gonna keep her. She is definitely not a summer palette, but I want to keep her for the sake of the color story. The eyeshadows in here were beautiful. You guys actually love the look that I did. So we're gonna keep her because, although I'm looking at her, I'm like she's definitely screaming fall vibes, but I'm gonna keep her. I might not even use her, but I just wanna keep her. I don't wanna put her on the bookshelf yet. We're keeping her, okay? The blues, the purples, y'all know this is my favorite color story to put on my eyes along with pinks like ugh. we're gonna keep her we're gonna keep and squeeze like three more looks using this palette all right so here is the other palette from clarita cosmetic because i felt like i had too many of her brands in here but we're definitely keeping her on the playlist i didn't even get a chance to play with her but she will get played for this month it's so many different formula and textures in here that i'm excited to try out this was a limited edition one so i'm sorry for the girls i did not get it but for the girls who did i got you we're doing some looks using her i was debating on doing this palette this is by blend bunny i'm like do i want to use her so i feel like i have a lot of like rainbow palettes but i feel like if i don't use her now i probably will never use her and she'll just be thrown on a shelf so because of the sake of the colors, it's bright, very colorful eyeshadows. Yeah, we're gonna keep her on the playlist. And then this one was a keep too as well. Yeah, this is Dirt Navina palette. This is value number three. I don't know why I didn't use her. I, I think she got lost on my desk because I forgot that I picked her out, but this is definitely a summer palette. So we're going to keep her on the playlist. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna have to eliminate some more palettes because I got too many other like new and exciting palettes that I want to add to my playlist that it would be ridiculous to keep these other palettes that I'm about to show you guys. So that's just the first pal. We got another pal of palettes that I'm supposed to keep. So let's see how that goes. We definitely have to play with this one. This is the Beauty Bay Tropical Palette. Why did I not play with her yet? Like she was definitely giving me my excitement of color looks. So yeah, I gotta get my hands on this one super super excited to try her out she's so cute all right and then we're gonna keep the culture 2 palette because i have yet to try her she gives off you know what she kind of gives off more fall vibes but i definitely still want to use her being that she's such a new palette and i have yet to get my hands on her but this is definitely more fall related compared to the other one but yeah i feel like it's best to have both on here 
All right, so this is Flora by Ace. I want to keep her, but the more I keep looking at her, I don't get inspired by this palette, but I'm gonna keep her because I want to challenge myself and it's yellow. I don't see myself using any, using this any other time. But the good thing is some, you know, warm shades in here that kind of like balance off this yellow. So we're gonna keep her in the collection. And I'm also gonna keep Kala, which is another neutral palette that I've been loving from Ace as well. As you guys can see, it's the same collection. So yeah, we're gonna keep these two on rotation, honey. I think I'm gonna take C Top off. This is by Odin's Eye. And I think I'm gonna take her off because she's more of a fall palette. And I think I'm gonna wait for that season to come. Yeah, we're gonna take her off. I'll play with her doing closer to fall season because it doesn't make sense for me to keep her. And I have so many other palettes I wanna play with. And we're gonna keep Planet Spirit. I think I'm supposed to do like two, three more looks using this palette before I put it in her, put her in retirement. So hopefully I will get a chance to do that this month. Yeah, she's giving off more of my summer vibes. So we're gonna keep her on the rotation of the palette playlist. This is the Revolution Amethyst palette. I love purple shades, so I'm gonna keep her. For the sake, I love purple, so let's go ahead and keep her. No questions on that. Hopefully I get a chance to use this beautiful palette. And I think that's it for the keeps. No, this is the last one for the keeps. The Malibu Barbie palette. I'm keeping her because it's Barbie season. So I'm going to use this all my Barbie palettes. <laughs> so definitely going to be keeping her because like I said, it's Barbie season. I just want to get these Barbie looks out being that it's Barbie movie and all that. So why not? I think it's the perfect time to use my Barbie palettes. So now that I showed you guys the things we're taking off, now for the palettes that I'm going to be adding to my already big playlist that I got going on. But gotta add them sis because i'm excited to give them a go you know i'm kind of laughing because my add-on pal <laughs> i didn't realize it was a lot until i started going through the palettes so obviously i probably don't want to get through all of these palettes that i mentioned for this month but y'all know how this go it's just a playlist okay i know how y'all create a music playlist and you you know you put all these songs on sometimes you skip through them sometimes you don't listen to that song although you created that special playlist Sometimes you just get through it. So that's going to be for this palette. <laughs> All right. So now these are going to be the new palettes that we'll be adding on to the playlist. Okay. Starting off with the Hank and Henry, the tie dye palette. This is definitely summer vibes all the way when I see this palette. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're getting some looks out using this palette. I think in general, I took myself I wanted to do. I think I've, I have a lot of looks already on this channel using this palette. I'm not sure if they private though, because I went through an era where I didn't know how to do my eyebrows and they were thicker than a sticker. So I don't know if I still have them public for you guys to watch them or if they're all private, but I did a lot of look using this palette already. And I just want to add more to the collection of me using this palette. So yeah, the next one is going to be the ColourPop Lush palette. The outside itself speaks for the tropical vibes. It's summer vibes, you know, so we got to get in on this palette. I love the color story. I think I've used this maybe once. And honestly, it's like one of my popular videos to this day that I use from, I want to say two years ago. So we're using her again. Let's get some more looks out of this palette. I just said that a lot. That was two years ago, you guys. The last time I used this palette, two years ago. No, it had to be last year. I'm sorry, it was last year. It had to be, because I was like, wait, was I pregnant or not? Did I give birth or not? I don't know. I think it was last year, the last time I used this palette. But that goes to show you how far I neglect my palettes. All right, this one was kind of sort of a request from a couple of people. I have one here on YouTube and of course on TikTok. You guys wanted me to use this palette, the new Scooby Dooby 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 palette. So we will be using her. I was excited when I first got her, but then the moment I got her in person, I don't know, I just didn't get that excitement anymore. I think it's the way these eyeshadows are kind of like laid out on this palette. Like they're so tiny, like I would expect them to be a little bit more bigger, but they so widow. So I don't know, but we're going to get some looks out of this. Hopefully once I use it, then I'll get more excited and more inspired on using her. All right, this one is going to be by the brand Pinky Rose. I forgot I had any palettes from this cosmetic line, but I got a couple of very bright colorful palettes from this line but i chose to use this one and that's because i don't think i've ever used this palette and it has a little bit of like color at the top and then it's a little bit of like neutral browns 
at the bottom so I can do a little bit of both with this palette. Add, um, do a neutral look, add some color, or vice versa, do just do a neutral look, whatever, you know. So I definitely want to try this out because I did like the first time I used one of her palettes. So yeah, like I said, I've never used her in this bit of my collection for over two years and some change and I've never used that palette, so that's really sad. All right, same thing for this palette. I've used her once and that was last year. Didn't use her again and this is a really, really, beautiful palette honestly this is my favorite ace palette my favorite palette from her my favorite I didn't stutter my favorite yes the color story in here is just perfect the formula that was chosen for each shade is just perfect and it's a little bit of summer and fall vibes so even when I use it for August I can still later on transition and use this palette as well for September if I feel like she wants to stay on the playlist which I think she is going to because I've been waiting patiently to use this palette. I was trying to use all my other Ace palettes, but I just kept thinking about her. So we're just gonna use her and get her out of the way. So we will be doing some, some, a couple of looks using this palette. I'm shooting for, for the next three months, I'm shooting for at least five looks. Yes, it's a lot, because I like this palette. Five looks using this palette. All right, this is a new palette, a new brand. Are y'all seeing call this? I hope I pronounce this brand, Lorella. Lorella, Lorella, I think I pronounced this brand correct. But this is gonna be the rocking palette, is what we're gonna call this. I've never used it and I like the color story of it. And plus I wanna try this brand out. So I think this is the best way of trying the brand out is actually using the palette. <laughs> and it's definitely giving me my summer vibes and a little bit of fall shades is in here. So if she's a good one, she would transition to the next month. So. Let's get a couple of wears in this one. Now that I'm thinking, I'm like, I feel like I have a lot of glam light palettes, but I don't know. I felt like I wanted to get some more looks out of this palette because the last time I used this one was last year for sure. Yes, and I haven't used her since. I did one look and I haven't touched it in. So this is going to be the glam light margarita palette. Yeah, you think she's going to be an all pink palette till you open her up and she was surprised you with some colors. Look at these. This whole side right here says yes, 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 and yes. I was debating on putting this on my playlist, but being that I can't return her, I know how y'all feel some a little I know how certain people feel about this particular person from this brand and this brand in general, but I don't have any Morphe palettes on my playlist and I was like, okay, what is a colorful Morphe palette that will fit in a summer vibes? And y'all can already think of what I'm about to say. This was the only colorful palette I have, so yes, this is the Jane Charles palette. I know he had a big scandal back then and why Morphe dropped him, but look, that ain't in my business, okay? But I bought this palette before all that cap it and I just want to use her. I feel like I haven't used it for the sake of that, but she's in my collection, okay? So let's pretend that this is not James Charles palette. This is not Morphe, it's just a colorful palette that we're gonna be using. I think White and Wild like duped this palette as well, so it can be whatever y'all want this palette to be, but I need to use her, okay? Otherwise, she's just in my in my desk for nothing and I can't return her, so yes. And I got the mini version of this palette because the big one was just too big for me, so these eyeshadows are so widow, but I think the perfect size for the amount of palettes I have, so yeah, we're gonna use her, okay? Let's see if it has a positive feedback on me because I've heard some ups and down things so we're going to see am I done with this okay got three more palettes <laughs> three more palettes oh my god all right again I wanted to use something from this brand because I really like this brand and I feel like I haven't played in any of her palettes in a while so this is makeup by Yolando this is going to be the jam rock 2 matte edition so all these shades in here are going to be matte matte bright and colorful so yes, this is definitely screaming. We need to use her for this month. So I will be doing that. So hopefully I can squeeze in. I'm about to get two, three looks using this palette before I put her back on the shelf. If I like her, I'll probably use a little bit more, but I haven't done like an all matte look in like a really long time. And usually like a, I usually like to add a little bit of like metallics and shimmers in my inner tear duct and stuff like that. So this is gonna be interesting. All right, this one is an add on. Y'all, I gotta tell y'all a little story about this cosmic. <laughs> Palette. This one was actually kind of, was not it wasn't a request, but <laughs> one of you guys, I'm not even gonna put her name on blast, but she left a comment about the last haul I did hauling this, and she talked about how she paid double, y'all. She paid double the price 
on this palette so i was like okay sis being that you did that i gotta give you some inspired looks using this palette because you paid double the price i think this palette was like 40 dollars so double that she probably spent like 80 some dollars on somebody else on ebay or whatever selling it because that's what people do the hoggers they buy all these palettes out and then they resell it for even more 10 times the price it's like why so yeah i don't remember your name but you know who you are we're doing some looks honey i got you we're using the delight palette from cosmic so this is why i had took off the other one the serenity because yeah we're playing with her i got to i got to got to got to so yeah all right and then the last palette that i'm going to be adding this is by the brand sweet slay cosmetic this is nude in london y'all know this palette got sent to me last month and i definitely wanted to just play around with this palette as well because i feel like i got a lot of colored palettes on my playlist but only what two palettes for neutral and i want to have a couple more just in case i get burnt off of doing such colorful looks and i do like to have a balance when it comes to my uploads of my makeup tutorials because not everybody likes colorful looks like me so i do like to have a balance and i feel like this is going to give me that and i like the fact that it's a little bit of splash of colors in here so it's not just a plain old neutral shade like there's some purples well not purple but there's a pink there's an orange just a yellow you know so it's gonna give okay and then we can use this later on for the fall so yeah i'm excited to do more looks using this palette so yeah my playlist is horrible this month as in ridiculous as in super duper big but i'm also excited because this is going to motivate me and inspire me to do more looks using my palette so hopefully i will get at least half of my stash at least especially for the ones that like i haven't used or haven't used since last year definitely want to be able to pick those up to um pick those up this month and play with them so we'll see how this month goes i'm having positive vibes already so i think it's going to be a good month especially with my new upload schedule so it's going to get okay so y'all look out okay look out look out and if i film so many looks i feel like so I usually film about a good like four to five days out of the week. So if I film so many makeup tutorials and I feel like it's going to crash with my upload, meaning I'm going to have too many videos to upload because I double, I always double film. So if that go as planned and I get like a, a lot of makeup tutorials and I think I might have some days where I upload two videos. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure, but. I think with my schedule, because I cut down my work schedule, kids are going to be in school. So I will actually have more time to film. So yeah, I forgot about that. The kids are going to be back at school. So that's why I'm having a positive feedback. I'm like, sis got some time now. Kids are going to be in school, okay? So definitely I'll be having some more filming sessions. So yeah, um, that's just a little thought. Yeah. Okay, anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited to play with my palace this month. Uh, let me know what is your top five palettes you guys are excited for me to play with. Um, and if you guys see a palette that I didn't show that you would like for me to play with next month, definitely leave that down at the bottom and I'll make sure to have her on rotation for next month as well. So you guys all have a beautiful day. Stay blessed, stay amazing, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.